The government is looking into reviving a government corporation that was put up after martial law. This is the National Steel Corporation, which has been closed for over two decades now. Here's our BizWatch correspondent, Andre Ko, with the story. Presidential Advisor in Economic Affairs, Ramon R.J. Jacinto, announced that the government is pushing for the revival of National Steel Corporation. This is in line with the present administration's program of increased infrastructure for the country. The government is now looking for new sites for the operations of a revived National Steel Corporation, and one of the possible sites is Fibidec Industrial Authority in Misamis Oriental. It's not as simple as reviving an old bankrupt government corporation like National Steel. For one, the company has incurred huge loans with banks while it was still operating. And this is one big challenge that the government will have to handle. The government is seeking the cooperation of said banks in this new revival plan. This was announced in the recent Infrastructure Congress and Expo Philippines. More of the story with our BizWatch correspondent. During the said expo, presidential advisor R.J. Jacinto also said that the government has to build that steel mill already while the president is in power because the other presidents don't realize its importance. Since reviving national steel will require foreign investment for the technology aspect, Jacinto added that the money we can raise it here through the banks, but the technology, there has to be a foreign investor that has the technology and the investor has to have a stake in the steel mill. I would rather that the investors own most of it first, the foreign investors, then slowly transfer it to the Filipinos. Jacinto also said that Steel Asia Manufacturing Corporation has expressed interest to acquire National Steel Corporation in Iligan City, but is only interested in a certain portion of the land where they can put up a plate mill and structural steel mill. The problem now is that the Philippines does not have adequate iron ore mining which is necessary for steel making. Jacinto added that the Philippines has not developed the iron ore mines because there are no steel mills to buy it. Other Asian countries like Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea have no iron ore but they have the most modern steel mills. In closing, the contention behind this move to revive national steel is that iron ore need not be sourced from our own country. It is cheap enough to ship it from Australia. But what we really need to do is build the finished product here.